Here we are again now with our lower extremity leg model. Uh, we are going to be taking a look at now the posterior compartment of the leg. These are our main plantar flexor muscles. Plantar flex, says, or even flexion, remember we talked about the toes being like our hands and when we curl our fingers like this we call it flexion, same way as we curl our toes in that direction, they're called flexion. And so what we're going to try to accomplish is taking a look at all these muscles. Now plantar flexion is a much more powerful action and so you'll find we have a lot more muscles to accommodate that. And so there's actually seven muscles that we need to take a look at. Four, what we would term on the superficial layer, and then three on the deep layer. We arrange the muscles in a superficial, and then we'll actually even can pull off this whole section and then take a look at the deep layer. So let's start with the superficial layer, four muscles all together. Let's start off with the first and most obvious one, and that's the gastrocnemius. As you can imagine, the gastrocnemius literally means well, for me, it makes more sense to say gastro means bellies, which they do, and then nemius, like evil twin, so nemesis. So you got two evil twin bellies that just kind of hang around. This is the gastrocnemius. You'll notice that it lays on top of the second muscle called the soleus muscle. Uh, the soleus makes up actually most of the bulk of the calf. Uh, gastroc tends to be a little bit thinner than soleus, but you can see how thick soleus tends to be. Very, very large muscle. Very powerful plantar flexor muscle, while the gastrocnemius kind of hangs out on top as you can see all this this is all soleus all this is soleus so my fingers are on soleus here my finger fingers now are on the gastrocnemius all right so that's two the third one is this really small one that comes from the lateral side of the gastrocnemius or lateral side of the lateral head or medial side of the lateral head of the gastrocnemius and that's the plantaris you'll notice it's just a about a size of your thumb and then becomes essentially just a long long tendon so when we take a look at this a lot of people ask well what was it do well clearly it, it, it helps plant our flex and flex the knee a little bit but in terms of uh, true tension producing it's really not there but all three of these insert on the calcaneal tendon a lot of people call this the Achilles tendon uh, calcaneal tendon is more anatomically appropriate so let's take a look let's pull this off these are our three superficial ones and then there's a fourth one right here voila this one's called the popliteus aptly named because the popliteal right behind the knee so this guy initiates flexion of the knee because kind of unlocking your knee, this guy does that by kind of turning your femoral condyles out of the condyles of the tibia and then allowing you to kind of bend your knees. So that's the superficial layer, all four. Let's take a look at now the deep layer and there's three muscles all in a row. If you know the anterior compartment uh, with the three muscles there, you already know the posterior compartment because all instead of saying tibialis anterior, the one in the middle is tibialis posterior. And instead of saying extensor hallucis longus, you say extensor flexor now hallucis longus. And then this guy right here is flexor digitorum longus. Uh, same names, just one word different. Here's one thing unique. It would make more sense that you would think that the most lateral muscle because as you can see this is the lateral side the pinky side the most lateral muscle would go down to the most lateral appendage but that that's not the case you'll find that for some reason our body allows these tendons to cross so that the most lateral appendage is actually the one that goes to the most medial appendage which is the flexor hallucis longus and then the most medial muscle which you would think goes straight down and goes to your toe it doesn't it it comes straight down and crosses over and becomes the flexor digitorum longus so if i'm counting over here's the fibula and you're like well what's this muscle that's the peroneus group or fibularis group that's the lateral compartment but here is flexor Hallucis longus, flexor, or tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus. So let's do a quick review. These are all the muscles in that compartment here, seven all together that I want you to know. So first one and foremost, this one is gastrocnemius. Below it, rest on top of the soleus muscle, which is all this underneath it as well. All that would be soleus. The small plantaris muscle, the popliteus muscle, the flexor hallucis longus, the tibialis posterior, and then the flexor digitorum longus.